Hi, Jason here, and in this video, I'm going to try and give you an up to date comparison between the free version of ChatGPT and the paid version of ChatGPT, which is called ChatGPT Plus, which you can see right here in front of you. And the let's just go over first of all how much it costs. So, ChatGPT Plus is going to cost you $20 a month which for what it does, in my view, is absolutely incredible value, um, as you will see. And um, the way that you upgrade is you just click on my plan and then you're able to just upgrade there. Now you can see I already have upgraded, so it's saying that for me. But the, the big benefits of having the plus is that it's available even when there's tons of people trying to access ChatGPT and it gets cut off. You get faster response speed and then priority access to new features of which there are many. So with this standard version of ChatGPT, you're just going to be able to have this 3.5 and um, that's about it. You don't get access to GPT-4, which we have with Plus. And then also you don't get access to these awesome new features um, that have come in recently, which is the web browser and plugins. And there's also another type of plugin for the Plus version, which is Code Interpreter, which helps you to do coding and things. But the big one really is, is probably the web browser because it means that now we can access current information from the web instead of being limited to data up to September 2021, which is what the free version will go up to. And even this plus version goes up to that without the use of that plugin. Uh, so there's some really big, big benefits there to having this plus. Now, if we, ch we take a look at the situation right now as I'm doing this video with the free version, this is what happens. Chat GPT is at capacity right now. Get notified when we're back. And I'll just refresh this. Um, I used to be able to just keep refreshing this, keep refreshing it, and eventually it would just suddenly come up and you'd get your login page. But it, it just locks you out. Now, the time of doing this video, it is 11 a.m. in the UK. And it used to be as well that you could pretty much guaranteed access the free version of ChatGPT up until about kind of midday, maybe 1230 onwards when the US started getting up. And then uh, everybody starts coming on. And then before you know it, you start seeing this stuff. But with a, a plus account, if you go to log in and you see this, you'll see just here that it has a dedicated login. So you'll just type in your email there and then it just click send link and you'll get like a guaranteed way to get past this and into your account. So that $20 is worth it to be able to do that. But I also see as well at the moment that if you're not even a subscriber of the Plus, you have to click on here um, and then uh, try and get in that way. But it gave me a wait list earlier when I clicked on that very same link. Oh, here it is. Join the wait list. Look at that. Interested in getting into Plus. Now it's really quite tricky to get in. So I think the best way is to be able to log into your free account if you can at some point and then just upgrade the where I showed you, which was just uh, down at the bottom left. Um, but if you are a free user, there is another really good way of using ChatGPT that bypasses all of this, uh, and that is to go to the playground. So if you go to this address, let me just pull it down there for you a second. There you go. Uh, Platform.openai.com forward stroke playground. And you'll you'll already have an account with Playground. If you've got a ChatGPT account, just Google Playground uh, for OpenAI and then you'll be able to log in and you just click on this top link up here where it says Playground and here you are. And this gives you effectively another ChatGPT. Perfect. And it's always working. I never have any issues with this. Um, and you can make it into uh, literally work exactly like ChatGPT. So just up to the top right, if I zoom in, there's a mode there where it's got complete chat and everything else. You can click chat and then this GPT 3.5 is what's being used by the free version anyway. This is a free version account here, by the way, that I'm using, not my paid account. 
and then you can just type in your um, usual things here, your prompts here. Uh, let's just whack in a prompt right now. So there's our prompt. Can you write a 500 word article on the benefits of AI for small business owners? We click submit down here. We've got it in chat mode and there it goes. Assistant are just cracking on and doing the article. Um, which is brilliant. Now let's compare that now uh, to the other version of ChatGBT, which if we just move that down a touch, there we go. We can see right there. And we'll go this time to GPT-4 and we can even use the plugin as well, which is the Bing plugin, if it wants to go and get any current information from the web to create that article. And click Submit. And it's, it's pretty good. It's put a title there straight away and it's just cracked on doing the actual article. We'll compare like the first paragraph of the articles and see if we feel that having that paid account um, with ChatGPT and using version four is better than the free version. Um, now, the free version looks to me like it is, it is just stopped there which is a little bit annoying, but because we're, we're using it in chat mode, we can just say to it to continue and then click submit and then it should crack on. There we go. And it's just, you can see that it's just continued. It just says small there and then business owners and so on. So it's getting on with it, getting the job done, even though we have to press continue. And to be honest, that happens on the plus version as well sometimes that you have to do the continuation. Oh, there you go. It's finished the article. So that's pretty good. And um, if we just drag this over here, let's just move it over there like that. And then we can we can take a look at how it compares to this article by doing that. There we are. So the beginning paragraph there um, is the, on the on the paid version, the rapidly evolving landscape of artificial intelligence AI isn't just for tech giants anymore. Small businesses stand to gain significantly from integrating AI into their operations. From optimizing efficiency to improving customer experience and more, here are some of the key benefits AI offers to small business owners. So nice introduction versus the free version. Uh, artificial intelligence AI has transformed the way small business owners operate. By leveraging AI powered tools, small businesses can automate mundane tasks and optimize workflows while reducing costs. In this article, we will discuss the key benefits of AI for small business owners. So to be honest with you, I actually I actually may prefer the free version in that instance. Uh, in all honesty, I actually found that quite nice and simple and straight to the point. Um, this one's a little bit more wordy, I suppose. But it wrote it straight away without having to press continue. When you do have to uh, make it carry on, and continue with the plus version, you will actually get a proper button appear there that says continue on it. And then you can just literally press it and it will just carry on versus having to type in continue like you do with the free version. And in fact, I have to do it again. So let's type that in there, continue. There we go. And it's just getting on. Now that makes copying and pasting the article a bit more of a pain because you've got to copy it by each section and so on. It looks like it's going to conclude the article there now. So, yeah, although it's, it is great having this playground and having the ability to access it when ChatGPT3 is doing this, the old capacity right now problem, um, then at least you, you do have the ability to do it, but it might just be a bit of a pain if you're creating content or like that that's quite long. So that's, that's really it. Now, with the other benefit with having this plus account as I say as plugins this is a recent addition and it really does give you some unbelievable power if we go to uh, the plugin store just here you get access to link all of these plugins and now there are a load of them if I click on all we've got uh, 16 pages of eight so an awful lot now, um, you know, we're talking, what are we talking about? 128, probably uh, 128 plugins. They seem to be coming on literally by the day. 
And there's loads of companies uh, like Video Insights is really useful because it can connect to YouTube and read a transcript of any video, pull it into ChatGPT, and then you're able to create content from it, summarize videos, do all sorts of stuff. You've got Klarna Shopping. There's loads of big companies, Kayak, and uh, who else have we got on here? Expedia as well, I know. So you don't get any of this on the free version. Wolfram Alpha, if you're doing complicated maths calculations and you want some extra firepower to pull it into ChatGPT. And then there's also Zapier as well, which is this one. That's probably, in my opinion, the most powerful of all the plugins. I've done a video on that very recently, if you check out my channel, um, because you can connect ChatGPT to 5,000 different apps. I mean, think of the possibilities there. Uh, loads. Now, GPT-4 is currently capped, as you can see at the bottom there, to a maximum of 25 messages every three hours. So it's a little bit of a break on it. Um, and hopefully they'll they'll drop those limitations uh, in the future. Now, there's another alternative. Go and get the Edge browser, and then you can do all sorts of stuff. Here we are. Let's just loading up. There it is. And then we should be able to access. I'm not going to set it as my default, I'm afraid. There you go. Now we can do different things using this, such as can you write a 500 word article on the benefits of AI? We'll say we'll say we want it long um, and we want to do it as a blog post just there. Click generate draft and then it will crack on and write that out for you as well. And that is using GPT-4. So you're getting the benefit of a plus account for free effectively with using the Microsoft browser here, the uh, Edge browser. There you go, look at that. The benefits of AI for small business owners and then off it goes, uh, writing an article gradually, churning it out. And the other good thing I like about this is that you can just there click the copy and then it just copies that straight away and you can drop that into a WordPress blog or whatever you wanna do. So there's other options as well as ChatGPT Plus. And this one might might be just good enough for you. It depends on your needs, really, and what you're actually intending on doing with ChatGPT Plus if you're thinking of upgrading. So that, that article's all, all uh, going on beautifully in the background there. Now, while that's happening, if you're into ChatGPT and you really want to learn more about it, there is a free group that I have here that's got nearly 5,000 members in now. And there's just like a load of us in here all talking about AI, the latest and greatest mid-journey prompts and chat GPT prompts to get things done, be more efficient, more productive, beat the competition. And you can just join it for free. It's, it's literally a case of just coming in here and then just signing up uh, straight away for free. So you might find that really, really useful. And uh, that really concludes this video of a comparison between ChatGPT and ChatGPT+. We were unable to log in even to the free version, um, which kind of tells you that maybe it's worth upgrading anyway. But we were able to use Playground instead to simulate the actual free version. And then we also tried using this, which was the Edge browser, which enabled us to go and write that article, which it still is doing in the background just there by the looks of it. Uh, so there's your, there's your comparison. I hope you found that really useful. If you did, please do like this video and then subscribe for more AI. There's another video coming any second for you right now. Thanks for watching.